hi there welcome back to really me tv this is episode two thank you so much for watching episode one by the way really appreciate it and thank you for all your lovely comments again this week i've got lots of new makeup skincare and more including news on sephora new collections from charlotte tilbury coming and pat mcgrath and a look at those hourglass lipsticks that everyone's been asking about and also a revlon lipstick that's been going viral on tiktok i'm told I mean, I'm told that because I'm not really a TikToker, although I try occasionally. I've also got a new tinted primer from Maybelline for their Sky High collection. Talk to you about that in a second. Some new skincare, new cleansers, and an iconic newness from Elemis. And also something a lot of people have been asking about, Merit's launch in the UK. I actually do have mainly Merit makeup on today. I've got the foundation, bronzer, blush, highlight and the brow product. This is the Merit makeup bag. I think the deliveries actually arrive in this, although don't quote me on that. The date for Merit launching in the UK, which everyone is super excited about, is 2nd of February. As far as I know, they are launching on their own website in the UK. There's no retail partner as yet, but if that changes, I shall certainly let you know. I've got blog posts already on their skincare product, their new skincare product that they launched, which will also launch in the UK, plus, all the colour swatches are coming up on the blog soon. I've already got the blush up there, bronzer's coming, the highlighter. I'm actually wearing the foundation, the bronzer, the uh, highlighter and a blush from the collection. I've actually filmed a video for Instagram of me applying this, so make sure you check me out on Instagram. I'm at really re over there. Anyway, moving on from Merit. So I've got news of newness from Charlotte Tilbury. Unfortunately, I don't have the products yet, but I can give you a little sneak peek of what is coming. So here is my info. Pillow Talk Party is back, launching 2nd of February. In the collection, we've got Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wands. Let me show you those exciting and also new hypnotizing pillow talk pop shots exciting so the shades of the blush are pillow talk pillow talk pink pop pillow talk peach pop and pillow talk dream pop exciting and the two new shades in the pop shots are pillow talk diamonds and pillow talk ultra violet as I said, they are launching on the 2nd of Feb. I'm gonna try and get samples soon so I can swatch them for you, so stay tuned for that. More beauty news quickly before I move on to showing you some product. Sephora is launching its first physical store in the UK. When I say first physical store, obviously not the first one because they came here before and then they went away again. We weren't ready for it. So they're launching a big store in Westfield. It's supposed to be 600 square feet. And it says the Sephora store will offer a product range for beauty junkies of more than over 140 brands with unparalleled curation from the Sephora universe, including a stellar lineup of brands that are exclusive to Sephora UK. These include GXVE by Gwen Stefani, Drunk Elephant, Elia, Milk, JVN, REM Beauty, One Size by Patrick Starr, Refi, Danessa Myrex, Kosas, Makeup by Mario, Sunday Riley, Glow Recipe, Fenty Beauty, Tart and Sephora's own Sephora collection. Now, I don't know that all of those are gonna be exclusive to Sephora because lots of those are in Space NK and Cult Beauty. However, when they mentioned Makeup by Mario, they were previously stocked and launched at Cult Beauty in the UK. When it was announced that Phil Unique was turning into Sephora in the UK, Makeup by Mario products slowly started to vanish from Cult Beauty. So who knows, this is all I know so far, but if I learn anything else, I'll be sure to share it here. And also just quickly before I, before I show you more product, Pat McGrath is launching a new collection. It's the Love Collection. I actually joined a Zoom with Pat herself last week and she showed us through the whole thing. There is an absolutely stunning matte palette that looks amazing and liquid eyeshadows and loads more. So before I get on to the makeup launches, I've got loads of shades of these, which is very exciting. I'm gonna have them swatched on the blog. And also the latest launch from Maybelline Sky High. I'm just gonna talk you through some skincare products that are really, really interesting. Wind, which is a beautiful uh, Moroccan inspired brand, have launched a new cleanser. This is stunning, called the Oasis fresh dissolving jelly cleanser. It's like an oil-based jelly that you massage onto dry skin, then you add water and it emulsifies into a milk and then you can like remove it and it's honestly so good at breaking down makeup and giving you a lovely clean complexion. Among other ingredients, it's got vitamin C and niacinamide to brighten and clear the complexion. Also glycerin to lock in moisture. If you love a really nice balmy cleanser, you will love this. I'll have a review on the blog soon, so I'll pop a link to that in my description box. 
For any LMS fans out there, I just wanted to flag this. The Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which is their bestseller forever basically, has now been reimagined in a rose formula. I absolutely love their rose cleansing balm, it's beautiful. And this is now the rose version of Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So it has all the power of marine cream plus the rose element, and apparently, Elemis used over 20 different types of hand picked roses for this formula. The texture is absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you. Look at that. Oh, so good. I really love Elemis, it's such a beautiful brand. And this, oh my goodness, it smells so lovely. I love rose in my skincare too, it's so gentle and hydrating. And yeah, that is. That feels beautiful. So if you're a Pro Collagen Marine Cream fan, you will love that. And I've got a little offer for you here. It says with every purchase of the Pro Collagen Marine Cream 50ml, you'll receive a complimentary Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm, 20 grams. Just use code ROSEVIP. I'll pop a note of the code in the description box for you with a link to where you can buy the cream. This is really exciting. It's a brand new, uh, well, new to me anyway, skincare brand called Coats, it's Coats Skin. Now, this range is all about kind of simplifying skincare, because obviously there's been a huge trend for like 75 steps and people damaging their barriers and all that stuff when we went a bit too crazy in lockdown with using acids and retinols. I mean, retinol is an acid, but like lots of different kind of like exfoliating acids and then harsh actives. So this is like all about bringing it back to basics in gentle formulas, but still with some active ingredients. So this is the Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. I've tried this out and it's lovely. I'll show you this quickly. It's a creamy texture. It very, very lightly foams on the skin, so it feels really, really gentle. And I, I think this is a perfect morning cleanse. It's pH balanced, so it won't strip the skin. It's got niacinamide in it, so that's great for clarity. And there's also a hydration complex. So we've got uh, hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and glycerin. So it's all kind of barrier supporting. In the range also, there's a toning milk, which is lovely. I'll just show you that really quickly. You can use this on a pad or just pressed into your skin. It's got very gentle exfoliants in there and hydrating properties. So there's mandelic acid, which gently exfoliates. And then in terms of hydration, you've got hyaluronic acid and ceramides. And then also for antioxidant protection, there's vitamin C and E in there too. So it's really, really nice. And their other product, there's just got three products, is the Triple Moisture Water Cream. This is super, super hydrating. Again, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid, squalane. I mean, it's, the, it's super, super hydrating, but very light texture just show you that um, there's also peptides so you've got a bit of anti-aging in there as well really really nice so if you just want to strip everything back you can pick up <laughs> three products and just really focus on barrier strengthening but there's also a bit of anti-aging and smoothing in there as well apparently they've also got an SPF on the way I'm going to have more details on this in a blog post for you so make sure you check the description box for that and then on a similar theme but kind of a slightly more active is this new serum from the Nuco it's called the skin filter serum it's an all-in-one serum so again focusing on simplifying your routine so it's been formulated to exfoliate hydrate and tighten so it's got a phytoretinol in there to focus on wrinkles, also hyaluronic acid to hydrate, and AHAs too to exfoliate. I'll show you the texture of that quickly. It's a really, really nice serum. And I've used it a couple of times, and it just makes your skin really, really glowy and gorgeous straight away. But again, if you're looking for something really simple, just like a one step, you cleanse, you use a serum, then you moisturize, this is really a nice one to look into from the Nuco. And my last skincare product, I love an oil and I love a Moravica, it's such a gorgeous brand. This is their Queen Oil, which is brand new. You can use this in place of moisturiser as like a one step, again, quite simple, or you can use it as your last step in your skincare routine to lock everything in. It's a beautiful oil, let me show you. Today I used it after my moisturiser. I actually used the Coats uh, moisturiser today that I just showed you earlier and then popped a little layer of this on top to just lock it all in. It has been made to tackle severe dryness, lack of firmness, kind of age, mature skin aging issues. It's got three sources of omega to really nourish, hydrate and lock in moisture in the skin. Also five flavour berry which is going to boost collagen and elastin to get that firmness and 
are, in terms of antioxidants it's got vitamin c e and k it's just lovely it also smells beautiful and i love all the packaging of their queen range it's so pretty and just quickly if you love baths sanctuary have just launched their two-phase bath oil three-day moisture i really wish i had more baths because i would love to use this but i just thought i'd show it to you sanctuary is such a brilliant affordable brand and i use some of their body products and they're super super hydrating so just wanted to show you that quick on to makeup Maybelline's Sky High mascara has got a new little friend. It's their Sky High Serum Infused Tinted Primer. I actually used this today before the Sky High mascara. Um, so you could actually use it on its own. So it's a really nice tint. It's not white like some mascaras are. I've actually filmed a little video for Instagram uh, with applying this. So check that out. But that looks really interesting. And this apparently is the UK's number one mascara which i saw when i was shopping in sainsbury's yesterday it's on their stand the uk's number one mascara who knew that's that i'm probably going to try and do a blog post on this soon so you can see how much extra it adds to the normal one i've got a review of this on the blog already because i love this new hourglass the packaging is interesting i found it quite annoying when i was trying to take photos because it, it's uh, on the wonk <laughs> pop it on for you quickly again really nice I like this this is I think it's probably my favorite like nudie shade that I've got I've got 10 shades to show you I'll have them swatched on the blog so make sure you check the description box for that they've also got a red called zero red I think or something. I don't know exactly but apparently it's the first time they've been able to find a pigment that's not carmine which is actually made from red beetle so it's properly vegan so that's really interesting but I like the packaging but it's not that practical and then there's a lot of magnetic stuff going on which again was quite annoying when I was trying to take pictures because they were flying around all over the place as they do sometimes and then the last thing I'm going to show you is these Revlon lipsticks which I think they'll probably be really popular they're probably popular already it says if lip gloss and lipstick had a baby discover TikTok's latest viral sensation with the affordable high street lipstick that has become a sellout success with thousands of new devotees it's called the Revlon super lustrous glass shine lipstick so let me show you one this one is 009 toasting glasses toasting glasses toasting glasses i don't know i'll pop it on on top of my hourglass but you so you can see how shiny it is uh, here we go actually that's quite a good match mm. very 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 emollient they feel great it's like it feels very comforting and soothing and I like that shade and I like the shine so I have actually swatched those as well so I'll try and get them on the blog really soon I think that's it next week I'm hoping to have for you the new MAC skin tint which is a strobe skin tint I'm just waiting for samples of that and also they've got a new lipstick launch which looks very exciting and I can't really talk about it yet because it's under embargo but I'm hoping that in time for the next video i'll have that to show you thank you so much for watching let me know if you've got any questions at all you can reach out to me easily on instagram it's at really really there or leave me a comment all the products i've mentioned should be linked in the description box for you with reviews or retail sites i think that's everything you need to know i will see you next time bye